Isn't it cold? Yeah. 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 See, even with that one, which is yeah, but light, yeah, but I'm deliberately keeping it down. Oh, okay. So I've got I'm putting um, down elevator on it a lot. Because yeah, otherwise, it because it's so little, it will be way up there, and will it, it just will it, oh, you're it'll be a, it down, yeah. Right? I'm keeping it down. Okay. Okay. So oh, it would if you let it go normally, it would go. It would just keep going up, 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 oh, up. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, that's something. You were, should we say, struggling the whole no, time? No, I'm, I'm deliberately keeping it low. Yeah, sure, sure. See, I, I'm, yeah, so no down elevator, but it's going up. It's going up. It's going up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's a nice little. What's that called? It's a, well, it's a reduced size chief. Oh, right. You know, a Bildine design. Oh, okay. You know, way back, it, you know, originally it would have been um, a free flight model. Yeah. So I made one that was 38, 36 inch windspan. Oh, okay. See, now it's picked up a lot of lift there. Yeah, yeah. So now I'm, I'm giving it a lot of down elevator to try and just stop it from going higher and higher and try and get it coming down again. But I was I'm surprised how well because it's, it's it's a bit of a breeze and it's dealing with it quite well. Because uh, it's, it's it's so light if you handle it it's like a featherweight. Yeah. I mean it's it's it is a a really sort of fragile looking structure. Sure. Cause it's it's all completely sticking tissue. Oh, okay. So even the fuselage is sticking tissue. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> you see, it's actually pointing down. The nose is pointing down because. Yeah, that, yeah. Um, yeah. And that's purely because I've put a lot of down elevator on to yeah. stop it from uh, no, no. climbing up too much. Oh. What's that one called, Carl? It's um, a 36 inch size Chief, you know, the Bill Dean design from the 50s. Oh yeah, oh, I have one of them once, a Chief. Yeah. Yeah. I've got a full size one um, built in um, 1968 it was. So I'm going to restore it and, and put radio control in it. Right. But this this is one I built a couple of years ago. I never really had an opportunity to fly. So... Yeah, I, I made one when I was still going to school. All right, yeah. Because <laughs> you know, the, I don't know what size the big one was, but it was a standard size. Yeah. And the, there was a field behind the house where we lived, quite steep. Yeah. Halfway down the village, you know, no slope or anything, and it was a lovely warm day. I decided I'd go up and fly this thing, launched it off up the top of the field, and he flew straight to die, and he flew right over the top of our house, <laughs> and then he turned. Yeah. And he just got past the race and he flew like straight down through the village in the line of the road. Oh, right. And uh, Dodd has lost that. Anyway, he got my father to get his car out. Right? We went down looking for it. And he'd gone across the river down the bottom of the village. And there was a row of um, cottages running, yeah. running in line with the river. And he'd knocked on somebody's front door, knocked the wings off. Oh, right. The wings off. Yeah, because they, they knock said, off wings, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, the lady was called Mrs. Cooper. Knocked on her door and she said, I thought somebody I heard someone knock on the door. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's uh, one of these old, old cottages where the, 
you know, great big thick walks. Yeah. Yeah. The doorway was set back in. Quite yeah. Way, so that's why the wings come off. It didn't do no damage to it, but I was afraid to fly it again after that. It was only a free flight, of course. Yeah. Radio back in the days. It was horrendous money, wasn't it? Yeah. Sixty years ago. That elastic bands. That's going really well, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty much full down elevator all the time. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah. The lift is, um, there's quite a bit of lift up there. That's why the nose is. Um, is that one on 2.4? Yes. Yeah, it's a 2.4 mod module in the back. Right. Yeah. So they covered that all in where all that shit was. Yeah. What are they going to do with that? Oh, well, we got another thing. I don't know what's going on. It was in this area, I think, where they were talking about doing the. Oh, is it? Yeah, all of these. Yeah, not in that over there, just in here. Yeah, in there somewhere. He's picking up though, what's it like now Carl? The yeah, I, I'm, yeah, and you can see the turbines moving. Yeah. So I'm, I'm on full down elevator, you see it's just coming down. Yeah. But I mean that's me, I, I'm deliberately keeping it low because you can imagine if that gets too high, I oh, just won't see it. No. It'll just be a tiny speck. Yeah. Keep it low. I'm trying to force it down all the time. Yeah. Keeping it in close. What I might do in a minute is bring this down and put the receiver in the sorcerer and because the wind is picking up again. Yeah, it is a bit, isn't it? But it, it flies well, this, doesn't it? I mean, yeah. Is this the first time? <laughs> no, I've flown it once before for a few minutes. Oh, yeah. So I came here a few weeks ago, um, and the wind really was even too dead for this. Uh, but as I was about to pack up and go, the wind picked up a little bit. So I had about five minutes with it then. Oh, yeah. um, so I knew uh, it was um, it was going to be a, a flyer. That is really pleasant to fly. It's quite nice. I can I can sort of circle around quite happily with it. There it goes. Where is it gone? There it is. <laughs> I mean, that's amazing for such. A, I mean, when I bring it down, you see how much how little weight there is in it. It's amazing for the amount it weighs. It's um, it's handling that wind. Yeah. But I think I will bring it in now because it is picking up. 